the Canon EF mount 35 to 80 millimeter. I didn't see. I I don't think I even saw a review for this lens. So I want to make a quick one. If you do street photography, I think this is a great lens for that. 35 to 80 millimeter is perfect range for street. Uh, I mainly just shoot at 35, which on a crop you get the field of view about 50 millimeter. But the focal length is still 35, which is I think just dead on perfect for street photography. I really love this lens for this. Uh, then I'll show some of my street photography pictures. But basically, this lens came as in a kit form with the Rebel film cameras of the late 80s, early 90s. There's three versions of this lens, I believe. Uh, the three different marks: Mark One, Mark Two, Mark Three. This is the Mark One, which you'll notice by the ring. The Mark Two, I believe, has the the crisscross zoom ring and the mark 3 I think is the one with the USM motor if you want to be quiet this one can get kind of no noisy the autofocus but the build quality is actually really great on this one it's better than the build quality on the 18 and 55 millimeter this lens is 20 years old and it's in better condition than my 18 and 55 even though it's been through the same stuff it's all uh, plastic construction really light uh, it's lighter than the kit lens it has 52 millimeter thread mounts, which means the hood from a 50 millimeter 1.8 will fit. This is the hood for that. Like, yes, 62. Actually, this is a knockoff. I don't even have the real one. That's a small element. It's really light, really portable. The autofocus in light is perfect, really quick. The uh, aperture is three. No, it's four to 5.6 it's it's a variable aperture in nighttime photography it's not really that great in, in low light either I think it, it's better than the kit lens though the 18 and 55 I found it's better actually I don't know why it has a that's a smaller aperture but it's actually better in low light in full daylight it's really snappy I take and the last time I did a street photography little walk around 99% of my shots were in focus and that was like out of 300 shots so it was re really good really snappy step down it's really sharp like tack sharp f8 f11 I don't think I don't think even an L lens could be sharper than that wide open wide open this one's really good actually I got a good copy the only, the only weird part about that is that it is a kit lens so there's going to be some good copies, some bad copies. The one I got was really good. It's sharp, wide open. I've heard some people say that their version was, wasn't sharp and that's why it got, and that's why this lens got a, a bad name, I think. Uh, a lot of people use this lens for macro photography, but it's, it's great for, for regular photography too. At the end of the video, I'll have some pictures. At 80 millimeter, you get some nice blur in the background. It's really decent. Even at even at 5.6, uh, if you stand close, you get like 10 inches of depth of field or something like that. It works out really good. But I think it comes to live and street photography. If you're into that, it's a great lens for that. Get this one with a cheap rebel or something. It's an EF mount, which will work on EF or EFS cameras. Autofocus. The rear element doesn't protrude or anything. It worked on a full frame. I haven't tried it on the full frame. I just tried it on my 10D, but it works great on that. I haven't tried it for video. I think it's a nice range for video. The best part about these lens, you can get them for as cheap as like $10 on eBay. I got mine for $40. It was like mint when I got it. It was like a mint condition. This has already been abused for like half the year that I've used it. But it's still working great. It's almost as old as I am. If you find one, uh, I think you should. If, if you're really just like amateur, I think it's a great lens. If you street photography, I think it's one of the best values because you're gonna be. Sh well, it depends on your style of shooting, but I like to shoot at f8, f11, and it just creates great images, edge to edge. I love it. I'll have some pictures at the end of the video, or I'll have a link down below to my Flickr set. Thanks.